So awesome. Okay. Oh my god, it's loud. <laughs> I don't think you guys can hear it though. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Hmm. Can you hear it? Hmm. Hold on. No, I don't think you guys can hear it. Hmm. Let's try this. How about now? Oh. All right. Yeah, you guys can hear that. Anyway, welcome to Hair Parrot. Um. I don't know much about this game. It's political. I say that is what it is. It sounded really interesting when I read it uh, like a month like a month ago. It was one of the games I had picked up to stream, but I've been doing a ton of Pokemon Insurgents. So, from Clear Skies, the Terrible Storm, the High King, Queen, the Crown Prince, their inner circle of trusted advisors, all lost in one fell swoop, dashed to the depths of the endless sea. With the throne empty, chaos grips the land with those with power consolidated, and the powerless pray for deliverance. In that inexorable evil, the soil rotting, sky darkening blight, it grows, festers, eats away silently at the heart of the world, creeping ever outward with none to oppose it. The kingdom of Undersky are sorely in need of a leader, a ruler to unite them and restore the broken line. For the first time in centuries, the ancient custom of the High Conclave is invoked. Messengers are sent to each kingdom, calling them to send a noble prince or princess to the sacred seat of power, Castle Ironwood. And the messages are answered. From the twilight dunes of Evening Star, Prince Adaro. From the Emerald Valens of Glimmer Green, Princess Elsinore. From the marshy depths of Merkin Vale, Princess Thorn. From the silver banks of Rivermoon, Princess Borum, uh, Prince Borum. And lastly, from the humblest of kingdoms, the humblest of princes, Rowan, signed of Windy Moor. I'm just going to assume that's me. One of these five young pretenders is destined to wear the Ironwood crown as the next High King or Queen of Undersky. Only a narrow span of deliberation separates potential from freight, possibility from responsibility, and in these few days, the shape of the future will begin to take form. The High Conclave awaits. <laughs> it's already off to a good start. <laughs> Day one. Welcome. Oh, this is voice acting. Or not. Uh, Prince Owen, to, welcome Prince Rowan to Castle Ironwood, seat of High and Kings and High Queens since time and me memorial, and site of the High Conclave. Your fellow pretenders wait, go on, join them now. When you are satisfied with your situation, come speak with me and we shall proceed to the first vote of the Conclave. Uh oh. Okay, um. Okay, I'm assuming I have to speak to that guy again, but I want to speak to somebody else first. No, wait. Yeah, I think I understand that. Um. What? Wait, what's with the heart beside it? Is that... Is that like a flirting option or something? Like, what is this? If you have any particular proposal, I'm all yours. I'd like you to ask what, uh, your opinion of one of the others. Perhaps let me make an alliance to vote against. Hmm. I feel like the alliance thing is would come in handy, but I feel like I need to make other dialogue choices before that. I'm very curious. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Asking questions like that is going to make you look foolish. You should pretend to know everything. Good practice for being a king. Don't let those ear droops. I'll, hear, I'll humor you. As a knower of everything, I've learned to your people's warrants and windy more, but our sort aren't dug into heels and downs. They're under the cities. Don't know what else you've heard, wouldn't call the Hollows a hidden kingdom as such, but back when the Wardens were around, all sorts of dealings that you couldn't get away with above ground went on down there, and only down there. Old King turned a blind eye to the crime lords of the of the Hollows, pushing their influence above ground. Some of them are even more powerful now than any legitimate noble, to be honest. Got their paws and everything. Won't beat around it, though. The Hollows are a problem. Lots of things rising to light that are best left hidden. Hmm... 
Best push them back to the Undercities than keep their corruption contained. Better to confront your problems than to simply bury them away and turn blind eye. What's the difference between an Undercity Lord and a Highborn Lord, anyway? I feel like the bottom option is quite obvious. Um, I'm going to best push them down to the Undercities, I think, you know? Just, that is the thing here, right? That is what they're doing. And I want to make friends. I don't want to piss anybody off because I don't want to go home early. This is day one. I can't leave on day one. That that's humiliating. Um, lots of things. Okay. Um. Hiya! Fair enough. The Merkins too. Above ground or below? <laughs> that's all I have to say. You want to tutor? Talk to the elder, not me. I want to ask about a proposal and make an alliance. I'm going to talk a bit more. I'm voting Adaro. Oh, but I didn't... Uh... I, I haven't talked to anybody yet. Screw it. I'm in. Can I excuse myself real quick? I need to... Are you a Daro? No, you're Borm. Pour yourself a drink. Warm is the inside. I like this guy already. The name's Borm from Rivermoon, and you're the fellow from Windy Moor. Well met, long ears. <laughs> long ears. Okay, I'm assuming this gains me, like... is It is has a possibility of gain, gaining me, like, favor with among among the people. So I'll do it. To be frank, I couldn't give a wait. If they want to fend for themselves, I'm all for it. Uh, I like this guy, but I don't think he's going to be a great king. <laughs> if they want to fend for themselves, I'm all for it. Every kingdom has the pr prerogative to put their own rights and issues first. I say, hell's is Rowan. If you don't like me as high king, you could sell all of Windy Moor off to oversee for all I care. Great. <laughs> Under sky is strongest together, and that includes the hinterlands. We build with their lumber, they touched with river moon wine. They all need each other, and they've set a dangerous precedent that wants to stop the kingdoms from dividing. Then they we all need each other things seems like the best option, but not for this guy. If I'm making a friend, I don't think he wants to hear this. I think he'd want to hear this. This is more the neutral option. No, he wouldn't like this. I he does talking shit about the interlands. Or maybe I don't know. Hell yeah! They make their own nails up there. That we they have little need for sailing ships. But I, you have a point. Free and open trade is the backbone of Undersky, and that respect is their separation has been worrisome. In any event, I have sneaking suspicion that other northern houses will have ruins head on the pike soon enough, and will be one big unhappy family once again. Even his words swagger, it's mesmerizing. I can't make up my mind if he's a born leader or a conceited idiot. Perhaps both. What about Thorn? Tell me, Pally, can hardly get a word out of her. I talked to her. What about Elsinore? Light, she would be so easy to mock prissy little princess that she is. Okay, it's a shame I like her. She's brighter than she lets on, you know. Next time. I'm going to go back to Thorn and ask her opinion of people. Yes, I do. Daro. Struts around like he's already high king. I mean, that is kind of annoying. Borum, fine, not as uptight as the rest of you lot. I'm not that uptight, am I? I mean, I talked to you. Elsinore, don't know anything about her. You're a wealth of knowledge. Okay, um... You. Well met, Prince Rowan. You must be the one from Windy Moor. Rowan, is it? Uh, Adaro. Pleasure to meet you, Rowan. I am Adaro, Prince of the Ever Evening Star Desert. Perhaps once you've warmed yourself up a bit, you'd care to spar? Hell yeah. 
I'll do that for you. You know, I'll definitely fight with you. Understand your kingdom is struggling with an insurgent element. Struggling hardly at the serpent's head, as they call themselves. Maybe ruthless. They're no match for true warriors and loyal patriots. Even the most pro prosperous of societies shall always have its undesirable elements. Delinquents, deviants, the slothful hordes who covet what they cannot earn. If anything, it is convenient of them to gather under one banner so that they may be dealt with with a single sweep. But as I have said, trouble yourself no further. These rumors of a civil war, gutless guerrillas hiding in their caves, with all of the might of our well-trained, well-equipped armies arrayed against them, not so much a war as an extermination. I assure you, Prince, soon there will be no serpent's head to speak of. I'm glad to hear it. The rule of law must be maintained. It is what separates us from the beasts. I fear that question these may address the symptoms of your problem, but not the cause. I don't think you'd like to hear that. So far, I've gained favor with two people. I think he did like this. Oh. There we go. Well said. There's no greater purpose, nor greater glory than defending that order. It is my duty and honor to put my life on the line for my kingdom and soon my greater protectorate. My campaigns against the Serpent's Head have sharpened me. Rowan honed my medal. It sounds strange to say it, but I'm glad I was born into an issue of battles to fight. It is why I have the strength of a high king. Okay. Thorn. Hard to get any sort of read on her, to be frank. If I manage to muster a full sense from her before I die, it has been a life well lived. But Borum. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if we quite need another drunk for a high king, but he's pleasant enough. I mean, he doesn't seem like a great... He, he seems like a cool guy to hang out with, but he doesn't seem like he's built to be a king. Elsinore, that's a good question, really. I'm trying to puzzle out whether the naive idealism of hers is an act or not. Okay. Until we speak next. So, so far, I don't really have a favorite. Thorn is kind of annoying. Just, like, doesn't talk to anybody, really. The Prince of Adaro's kind of... I mean, Adaro is fine. And Borm just seems like a cool guy, but not the right king. If I can get him to be my friend, that'd be great. I'm sh But I'd probably want him out of the running as soon as possible, to be honest. By the good mother... You look chilled half to death. How brave of you to press on through such a blizzard. I was fortunate to arrive from Glimmer Green last night before the lever took such a turn as it has. Oh, this old castle is so drafty. I hope we can conclude our business here before too long. Anyway, I am Elsinore, second light of Glimmer Green, and I suppose I'll be your high queen rather soon. Truly really tragic the circumstances that have brought us here. Yes. Sorrowful times indeed, old King Bronn and Queen Adelaide were the very model of benevolence and inspiration to, nob to nobility and common folk alike. Their memory shall live on for as long as there are balladeers to sing it. Many years ago, while, when my mother's mother rose the stewardship of Glimmer Green, her highness Adelaide paid a state visit to her emerald court. It's a precious moment in Glimmer on politics and the support of the High Queen meant, well, everything. Glimmer Green is the jewel of the undersky, she told my grandmother, and you are the jewel of Glimmer Green. The words of Good Mother were as new and unfamiliar then, but the word of the High Queen was a warm embrace and an unwavering shield. In more ways than one, I would not be here if it were not for her. Apart from my blessed mother, of course, I modeled my rulership after the Good Queen Adelaide most of all. She showed me that an open hand need not be an empty hand, and it could rest on the shoulder of each kingdom like one might command or reproach a child. Hmm. I think she's my favorite. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if I should say the second one. While I do agree, I don't think that it would make me friends if I interview, if I... Yeah, you agree with the fact that she's my favorite, or that I shouldn't say the second option? Yeah, Borum seems like a fun guy, and he seems like a great friend to have in this, but I don't think he's a good one for King. So while he's not my least favorite, I kind of want him out just because he'd probably kill us all. Oh, she would be fantastic. She's my favorite, for sure. I, th I think I want to form the alliance with her.
And I think I want uh I don't know who I want out though. Maybe Elsa maybe uh maybe Thorn. She wasn't exactly the nicest person, but then again, Borum have Borum just it, he it, he's a risk if he's in the running. Plus if he's a drunk too, he could be spilling all kinds of political secrets, I tell him. So um Yes. Very well put, Rowan. Should either of us be crowned, mother willing, I hope that we can live up to our example. Uh, can we be crowned together? Yeah, but then again, Adaro is also not that great. She's by far the best. The movements of late are mysterious to us, hidden behind the silken current of time. Curtain of time. I hope that as the spirits of the beloved king and queen watch us from beyond the threshold, they do not find us too badly wanting in their place. Go on. Adaro. Points for confidence, at least beyond that we shall have to see. Thorn. Really got away with the words, hasn't she? I jest, of course. Borm. That remains to be seen. He certainly has some interesting ideas. Okay, Elsinore, you're a wealth of knowledge. You're, you're just as bad as Thorn on that one. But I want the alliance with you. Alright, who are we going to vote against? I, I propose that we make an alliance with her to vote against someone... Well, one of the other three. Um, to be honest, Borum seems like a big risk. That's the problem. He's probably the most likable one. Well, actually, I like Elsinore the best, but Thorn, Borum, and Ardaro, I don't. Borum, yeah, I agree. Borum. Yes, I can do that. Awesome. Perfect. I'll turn if I can literally change my mind if I wanted to, or is this just like. Okay, so we're voting against Borm. Perfect. May she watch over you. Thank you. Okay, um Should we talk to anybody else? Maybe get I mean I already agreed to I've already lied to Thorn. It said I was gonna vote for a Daro and I'm not. <laughs> I'm voting for Borum. So I wonder if we can talk to her about that. Something else. Borm. Shit. Okay, um, okay, mm -hmm. um, can we get a Daro on our side on that one? Born. Great minds. Awesome! Okay, so we've got a Daro and we've got Elsinore to vote against Borum. That's perfect. Okay. We shall speak again soon. Perfect. Okay, so Adaro and Elsinore are our friends. I'm sorry, Borum, you're kind of bad. Familiar. Okay, he's very drunk. <laughs> Just like this prince I spoke to only a few minutes past. Uncanny. Okay. Next time, then. Sorry, 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 Borum. Sorry. Anyway. Off to the other. Tell me how the Conclave business works. Certainly, Prince. The High Conclave is conducted over the course of four days. At the end of each day, there shall be a vote, and one candidate must be chosen for elimination. Proceeding each day's vote, I advise you to speak freely with your peers, make plans. Okay, I did. I formed, I made plans and formed connections with two people. Thorn, I sort of made a connection with, except she doesn't agree with me on voting a forum. Once you have done so to your heart's content, come to me and say no, your preparedness for the vote. Only two pretenders remain. If also those who have been elim eliminated, the inner circle choose a winner between them. Each finalist shall have one chance to make their support to the inner circle. One final chance to make their case. What the hell was I saying? To the inner circle. When this is done, the inner circle shall cast their ballots of support, and a new ruler shall be chosen. Tell me about. I'll consult him about that later on. I'm, I'm ready to vote. Hmm. Alright, do we can can do we go to the vote or do we ask the elder about history, powers, and places? What do you guys think? I'm I mean I think it might be important to figure that out, but You know what? Figuring out history would probably be a good thing. As you wish. Cause like if people have kind of like a okay, nope, nope, nope. I already read this. Ah, oh, god, I hit it again. Ask. 
Yeah, I agree. History. Okay, I don't really want to learn that. Powers. These are faiths. I want to know about the Good Mother. Ah, the new faith of the Good Mother is a monolith, because uh, Elsinore seems to believe in the Good Mother, so. The new uh, faith of the Good Mother is a monotheistic religion, adheres worship of benevolent supreme nature spirit and stewardess of the universe. Okay, the DRK, mainly observed in Evening Star, so this is a Daros dude. Hey, Sudzi, what's up? Observed mainly in Evening Star, the DRK, is DRK, DRK? I'm pretty sure it's DRK. It is a worship of two main gods, sun and moon spirits, the bright lord and pale lady. And they're polis, polis, I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Polytheistic offspring. The hidden ones, I instantly thought of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Simply put, the belief that life resides in all things. Our ancestors' spirits surround us at all turns, in trees, and stone and flower and fern, it is the oldest and widespread of most religions. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, Sudsy. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Our organizations. The Blight. I want to know about the Blight. Blight, the ruin, the creeping shadow, is an inexorable, formless menace. It already gnaws at Merkin Vale. So there's the possibility that Thorn might be corrupt. Yeah, Thorn might be corrupt. I don't think we should trust her. Okay, organizations. The Serpent's Head. We sort of learned about the Serpent's Head from Adaro. In Surgeon Forest and Evening Star, they count themselves freedom fighters against the great houses of the brutal acts I dare not speak. Okay, the Wardens patrolled all of Undersky, Guardians and Forces answered to none the Ironwood Crown as the site of the Hollywood brooch and the Green Cloak. Many a scoundrel would surrender on the spot and so fame their prowess. Sadly, they grew crumped, overweening, and had to be disbanded by the old king. Okay, so that's powers. What about places? There's the hinterlands and oversee. Do we need to learn about our home? I don't think that'd be. You know what? We should probably learn it because I feel like there'd be some sort of question later where they're like, "Well, how well do you know your home?" And I'll be like, "Ah, uh, ah, uh, h. So, might as well. Your own home, Kingdom Prince. Are you testing me? I understand that your constant gale sweeps into windy moor from the neighboring eastern sea, keeping its people hunkered in cozy warrants or carry some way to adventure. If you'll pardon the license of the poem, the prince. Oversee. A mysterious land across the endless sea, populated by wonders untold. When their merchant ships come to port, they bring spices and textiles the likes of which in and in under sky can match. The old king and his high queen run a great sea voyage to the shores of under oversea when their fleet was lost to a terrible storm, leaving us with the current predicament. Adara was complaining about the hinterlands, so populated by those hardy enough to survive a rugged life, the inhospitable steppes and mountains of the hinterlands stand apart from the other kingdoms of Undersky. They refuse to acknowledge the legitimacy of the High Conclave, instead throwing their support behind the young Prince Rune of Wolvenhall, cousin to the High Queen as the heir to the Ironwood Crown. He's not even here. The Arboreal City spends a high above Glimmer Green. That's, uh... That's Els Elsmore's home. Suspended high above Glimmer Green, the arboreal city stands as an independent city state, much to the chag chagrin of those who would seek to govern its rich trade and vibrant culture. Okay. Evening Star. There's a lot to learn. But I have a feeling it's all going to come in handy later, so I feel like this is worth it. Evening Star, far southwest of here. Gotta go, don't feel well, and I'm falling asleep over here. Good night. Good night, Sudzi. Hope you feel better. Evening Star, far southwest of here is the Sun Kissed Desert Nation, its lush river deltas, host cities of tiring spires, islands in an ocean of dunes. Currently, Evening Star is, embro is embroiled in a destructive in internal conflict between the ruling great houses and the extremist serpent head rebels. Okay, so Dara's home is kind of overrun with terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> a rich expanse of emerald woodland dotted with bustling towns and cities, some call Glimmer Green the thriving heart of under sky Vernon prosperous as it is. A new family has risen to the theocratic rulership of Glimmer Green on a tide of religious fervor, preaching the uh, newly teachings of the Good Mother. 
he doesn't seem to be a big fan of the good mother. And he seems to ridicule it for being new. But if Elsinore believes in it, I believe in it. The good mother will save us all. A number of the kingdom's less devoted residents, merchants, noble scientists, and those adhered to other faiths form an insurrection and scheme to restore the prior order. Merkinvale. The sun seldom breaks into the undergrowth of the dense forest that is Merkinvale, the troubled kingdom most closely abutting the encroaching blight. Yeah, we did talk about how the thorn might be corrupted. Powerful crime lords hold sway in the CD on villages of its dense cities. Without a doubt, the spread of the blight is the most pressing matter at hand in Merkinvale, despite increasing strident warnings from the kingdom's leadership. Foreign aid in combating the menace has been non existent, even within Merkinvale's shoes, willful ignorance in the face of this inconvenient truth. River Moon. Lifeblood is an insular Bucalia, largely more concerned with the simple pleasures than the troubles of the outside world. The lifeblood, I should add, has become polluted with the runoff of Munich industries, choked with detritus and the no longer ba the boundless, seemingly wondrous resource it once was. Okay, that's all for now. I don't want to learn about the history, because holy crap, it's taking a while. Um, I'm ready to proceed to voting. Yeah, I'm ready. Very well. Okay, so what I'm worried about here is I just thought about something. So Elsinore and Adaro seem to be kind of similar in a way. Um, I feel like they'd get along well, is what I'm trying to say. Which means I should probably eliminate one of them as well. But Thorn should be the next one off my list. One of you chosen by your peers must pass from contention. On the parchment below, you write down the name of the pretender you have selected for elimination. You may, may do so now. Ah, uh, I be uh, getting rid of Borum. The votes have been written. You may now reveal your parchments. Thorn. You bastard! Ataro, I trusted you. Hell yeah! Okay, Borum's out. Okay, so I kind of betrayed Thorn. But I need to get rid of Adaro now. I need to side with Thorn on that one. He conspired against me, and now that he's done that, I mean, uh, Thorn is probably on that. Okay, I'm gonna excuse myself real quick. I need to check in with Elsinore first. How can I help you? Um, Glad to hear it. I shall pass the news along to her. Yes, as first light, she really sees all citizens of Glimmergreen as her children, and all children, well-behaved or not, deserve to have food, medicine, and a roof over their heads. At the Temple of the Good Mother in every city, town and city, as there soon will be, we shall be able to offer shelter to any who ask for it. And the great alms of all, the love of the Mother above. By her grace and the love of our subjects, my family is blessed with far more wealth and property than we could ever truly need. The mother tests the fortunate, the fortunate of most of all, you know, it is our sacred, sacred duty to give and to ask for naught in return. It's a rather fine dress you're wearing. Wow, we're just gonna pick that one, like, when she's actually talking about something rather serious. I want to continue being her friend. She, tr she did side with me, so... Awesome. And tr truly, truly, it warms my heart to think I should have an advisor so like-minded as you. That's how you see me, your advisor, really, Elsinore. Whatever, Adaro. Yes, I can do that. Awesome. Love you, Elsinore. Um, ask your opinion of one of the others. Has it changed? She respects him. Okay, I'm kind of worried about that. Farewell. I think I need to speak to Thorn about that one. Because we're not complete morons. Okay, well, they have no religion because they're morons. Okay, uh, whatever invisible mother, father, mother, ancestor, a person chooses to whisper their wishes to, they have every right, and it's when you turn it into a business that it becomes a problem. Merkinville is not a rich nation. God's prey harshest upon the poor. Hope, goodwill, simple credulity. Credulity, the uh, the agnostic state, is our way of protecting the small folk from just one more market square scale. 
Nobody is protecting from beliefs they choose from themselves. Truly believe religion to be predatory or delusional, why not ban it outright? Permitting others to practice is what you so what you so disdain is an unusually broad minded trait of lore. Fuck. Okay. The great hair isn't even a thing. Why can't I pick the... I want to pick the good mother. I'm not religious. I feel like it's the best option here. Plus it gained favor. Okay, I don't think this is going to go well. I think we need to get rid of Thorn. I need to talk to Adoro first, though. What do you wish to discuss? You being an asshole. Do I know how to use this blade, my friend? Perhaps you can ask Basara, Ram, or Gore the Pike, where they were united with their heads. Rebels, brigands, and traitors alike know and fear me. I am not familiar with the Guild Saber. Saber Rattlers that prance around the court. I feel a feeling I'm going to lose after this. Prince of the Courts of Winnymore, let me show you Prince Rowan, I'm a proven warrior. I'm almost loath to ask if you have any fighting experience, and yet more with no pushover, I received the training in combat from a young age. Violence is a failure of leadership, I have never taken a life, nor do I intend to. Ooh. The first of the last option seems like the better, seems like the best option. Hmm. Awesome. Acquaint, okay, we should find a time to spar. Yeah. I'll fight you. Um. You can do whatever. I should probably check in with Elsinore, actually. Or should I get rid of Adaro? Because if I can, I could probably get Elsinore to vote for, uh, Thorn. Maybe. I don't know. Thorn and Adaro needs or Adaro needs to go. I don't trust Thorn anymore now that I've betrayed her once and not and I picked the wrong option with her, so uh I have a feeling she's kinda gonna screw me over. So it's either one of the two that I need to get rid of. And Adaro voted for me last round. And Elsinore didn't. She seemed to... Problem is with Elsinore, though, she seems to respect Adaro. She did say that. She respects his drive or something. Hmm. I'd like to ask your opinion of one of the others. I want to know your opinion of Elsinore. Rather clever, I'm quite enjoying matching wits with her thus far. Okay, yeah, we need to get rid of Adaro. Because they seem to become, be becoming allies. Who the Oh my god! Who the out of her element here? I almost pity her. Yep, you're gone, sir. We shall speak again soon. Uh, no, we won't, because she'll be gone. An alliance to vote against Adaro. Already planning to. <laughs> yep. All right. Awesome. Let's talk about something else. And I'm gonna excuse myself. You hate the man, so I'm assuming you're not gonna vote for me. Hail, Prince. Some more options? No. Okay. Um. I shall await. Blessings upon you. I didn't ask. I didn't ask her opinions, did I? Dara. Meh, he's a lot. Okay. Elsinore. Don't know anything better. Do you seem like an easy person to eliminate in the next round? I think it'll come down to just Elsinore and I if you don't betray me. Voting phase. Include your business for the day. Yes. Very well. Shit. 
One of you chosen by your peers must pass from contention on to the parchment before you write down the name of the presenter you have selected for elimination. You may do so now. Daro. What's Borum doing over there? Fuck. Oh! Oh, I should have gone for Thorn. <sighs> Hell yeah! Okay. Problem is... Okay, so I have a friend in Elsinore. That is the one thing I have. Day three. I assume it's going to be easy enough to get rid of Thorn. She calls me here, dear friend. Do you ever have doubts about all this good mother business? What funny questions you ask, dear Rowan? The mother's way is all I've ever known. From the moment I was brought into this world, I was Christian as the future leader of an entire faith. Educated in every teaching, drilled in every prayer, and taught to show the proper grace with every word and gesture. I dare not sound ungrateful for being raised as a princess, and more than a princess, while good folks starve. Nevertheless, the pressures of my life and my station have never been inconsiderable. And consequentially, leave little room to accommodate doubt. Due to our future stations, Rowan, we must be candid with each other, so I shall be indeed be candid. I am, despite my mother's best effort, only mortal. I have my moments of weakness, and in these moments I may waver. Faith may be may well be easier when taken for granted. Held in the heart without interrogation, I must practice and perform it at the highest level and on most public stage. It takes its toll on me, but I have no but I am no martyr. I'm wealthy beyond measure in spirit and station and in wealth as well. Every one of us, humble or noble, has some belief at the core of their being. Without that faith, everything they take to be true crumbles. I've been forthright with you, Rowan, so in turn I ask you simply, what do you believe in? I believe that all people deserve kindness and believe in good. Okay, good. Fine response and an heartening one. If you allow yourself to be guided by that belief with the fine power you are soon to assume, I feel certain that you will do no ill. I so admire your directness, Rowan, and, and asking these most interesting questions, not often do I share such candor in my home court. Okay. Thorn. Yes, that's the plan. Awesome. You're great. Farewell. Thorn. Grew up on stories of the Wardens of Merkinvale. So did I, my father was one. If you know the stories, you know the old king disbanded them, said they were corrupt over large. My dad agreed, disagreed. Now the old king sunk and the blight is growing. We need the Wardens now more than ever. If the stories of their prowess are true, I look forward to the Wardens reinstatement. Agreed, but perhaps some and updates to their organizational structure are in order. The old king had a point and independent parliamentary was and is irresponsible. I don't know why I'm going to try and make friends with her, because I guess just to avoid the vote. Because Elsinore could always turn on me, though it doesn't seem likely at all. Agreed, but perhaps some updates to their organizational structures are in order. Well, why not? Pin the holy leaf brooch on my father's cloak when we laid him down. He died a warden, if not in name. I'll believe in the wardens until I die. I don't have anything for you. Hail. Hail. Voting phase. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. To the council chambers. Awesome. Okay. One of you chosen by the votes of your peers must pass from contention on the parchment below you. Write down the name of the pretender you've chosen for elimination. You may do so now. Thorn. Votes have been written. You may now reveal your parchments. Elsinore, please. Awesome. Okay. Oh! She lied to Thorn? And she still voted for me. Get out of here. A decision has been reached. What if you tie? What happens if you tie? A decision has been reached. Thorn, you have been eliminated. Please take your seat on the inner circle. And with that, only two contenders remain. The inner circle shall now retire to deliberate. Elsinore, Rowan, you may excuse yourselves. For tonight, I advise you to rest, clear your heads, and gather your thoughts. Shall each have one final chance to make your case come tomorrow? Problem is with eliminating those people that voted for me was, uh, they're probably gonna prefer Elsinore over me. <laughs> but then again, Elsinore did offer me a spot as advisor, so. Rowan, I'm truly glad to be standing beside you at the end of all of this. It is the mother's will that you were chosen tomorrow. It will harden me to know that a decent man will be high king. 
Come, pray with me. Let us seek the peace of our respective spirits. Absolutely. Excellent. I shall offer my words to the good mother, of course. You may direct yours anywhere you wish. All prayers are heard the same, I like to think. Elsinore closes her eyes and seeks a moment of solace. You wait patiently, watching through his lowered eyelids while she gathers herself. Mother above, Ro and I wait your judgment. Here on the precipice of destiny, I ask whichever ever is you choose in your wisdom that you bestow the qualities to make a worthy queen or king. Grant us the gentleness to heal the petty enmities of this conclave and come together as servants of the same crown, if not always the same mind. Grant us the courage and conviction to conquer all the battles that lie ahead, to overcome our foes that cannot be slain by sword or by a simple coin. Grant us, I ask, the vision to always recall who we truly serve, the people of all under sky. Let no borders or private interests divide us. In your name, good mother, I beg you, bless your king, your queen or king, and those who shall serve loyally for all your children. In her name, thank you for joining me, Rowan. It's been good to share this moment of peace. Good night, Rowan. I retire. May the morning greet us as peers of this once more. And good night, Elsinore. So, uh, you did off. You did see say you c c might want me as an advisor. Yes. Inner circle shall hear you one at a time. Come with me, Elsinore. Oh dear, I think I might vomit. Coming, coming. <laughs> You are left alone with your three limited peers to speak with Elsinore. Pacing restlessly, you feel that the pounding of your heart must be audible, even from Windy Moor. After what seems like an eternity passes, it is your turn at last, and you step onto the balcony where the Elder and Inner Circle await. Speak now amongst yourselves, Rowan, when you feel that you have made your case. Well, as you can, come to me and we shall proceed. Oh, this is not going to be good. That did not sound good. You always look so nervous this time for once it is well deserved. The goal to write my name and now come looking for what? Assurances of no hard feelings? I have little to sh- Oh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? I admit to being a bad story, I confess it freely. I would have made it a High King's Delights of which Undersky has never seen. I am a warrior, a hero. Problem is I voted for everyone that got eliminated. None of them are gonna. Oh god, they're gonna pick Elsinore, aren't they? No wait, but Elsinore voted for them all too. I would have made such a high king the likes of which Undersky has never seen. I am a warrior, a hero, leader of campaigns. My blood pure, noble, worthy of starting a new royal line. When I saw the four of you arrayed against me, sorry, my certainty swelled, and yet things have taken a different turn. Very well, so be it. I shall accept the results of this conclave. Let it not be said that I lack honor. I ask you now, Rowan, are you a man of honor? Can I count on you to heed my counsel? Uphold the interests of Evening Star and rule with the alac alacrity that I might have. Oh my god, I'll rule my honor, not yours, you entitled prick. Oh Jesus. Honor is all we have. You can count on me, Adaro. That doesn't seem like a great option. Talent and experience will be a boon. I don't want to vote that. I'll pick the last one. Oh. Strong words, I hope you will be strong leadership. Come to that and a staunch fellow advisor, if not. Perfect. Perhaps this conversation has been our last as equals, perhaps not. Fate will decide, but first must I. Farewell, Rowan, Prince of Windy Moor. Farewell, Adar. <laughs> okay, well, at least you're mature about it. Yeah, yeah, you voted me out. Big deal. We're all adults here. <laughs> Just one thing. This should be the last conclave. If you're made High King, get rid of it. It's outdated, archaic, nothing but bad blood. I don't know if I want to do that. I wouldn't worry about it. I plan for my line to remain unbroken. It's certainly old-fashioned, but it's the most equitable option we have, at least for now. I disagree, we'll discuss later. At least I didn't lose a heart though. I think that was a neutral. I think that was neutral. Look at you. Standing here all contrite, like, no lad, I have not forgotten that you got me good and gone, but that's the name of the game, ain't it? I'll freely admit I've made more or less made up my mind at this point, but I'll throw you a question anyways. Okay, so you're already partial. Perfect. Looking at the two of you coming begging for forgiveness, now three of us now you treat your opponents have not to offer you. 
fall to the throne. How do you reckon you'd act, you'll act towards those who disagree, opposed to defy you when you have nothing at all to gain from humoring them? Asked and answered, unifying under scale protects strength, not pliability. Discreet thou have nothing to gain from dissenters, our differences make us whole. This one seems like the m most... Blunt is not quite the word, or maybe it is, I'm not sure. Seems like the most straightforward option. I feel like this would not gain me favor. I've already got favor from Adaro, a neutral from Thorn, and I don't think I can afford to get a neutral from Borum. Treason is treason and everything else is opinion. Um... Asked and answered, or I disagree, I'll have nothing to gain from dissenters. The fact that I'm disagreeing will not give me favor. Damn it. I have a feeling you'd say that, friend. Nothing left to do but the doing. Shove off now, I have thinking faces to pull. Mind giving me some space, pal. No. Our business is concluded. We're done here. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is not going to be good. Steps out to join you, shivering slightly in the chill morning air. The atmosphere is taut with anticipation as the two of you stand side by side, awaiting judgment. Oh, no. I don't feel like I'm going to win this. I figured. Elsinore. Really? Prince of Willymore no more shall wear the Ironwood crown. Long live the High King. Long live, live, the, live the, the High King. King. Awesome, I won. So I guess I'm... I could try a harder difficulty. Through friendly words and cunning deeds, the little-known prince of an unimpressive kingdom had earned the Ironwood crown. And at a time when the kingdoms were in most need of a prudent leadership than ever before... But although the conclave was over, the wounds it had opened would persist. Split between those who had supported Rowan in the conclave and those who had opposed him, sour mood prevailed in the new High King's inner circle. Despite the Elder's best efforts at reconciliation, affairs of state often devolved into nastiness with one Affairs of state often dissolved into nastiness with one aggrieved party or another storming out of the castle chambers in a fuss. Seldom could common ground be reached on any issue of import. Shaking their heads in dismay at the ability of this young generation to achieve anything beyond useless squabbling, the kingdoms of Honor Sky drifted further and further apart from each other in distrust. Bitter, isolated, the blight swept them over all like into a dark tide until even Castle Ironwood crumbled into ruin. So I was a terrible king, is what you're telling me. A land's destiny is shaped by all, but sometimes... If I didn't conspire against people, would well, things have been different? I should listen to others. Land well, destiny shaped by all, but sometimes the future hangs on by the will of just a few. It leaves one to it leaves one to wonder how might things have been different, and had only we found our where our choices would lead. Okay, so we picked the... Okay, so we picked the hardest, the second hardest difficulty to go on first row. But basically, I think I got the worst ending. I got to be king, but I was a horrible one. So in my opinion, that's probably the worst one. Pretenders are less forgiving of Rowan than you are more likely to start as an outsider, an extra challenge for the strategically minded. What do you say? Do you want to go again? Try something different? Or do you guys want to move on to Pokemon Surgeons or something? Yeah, there's two of you. you. Either of you want to vote? Or both?
Oh, come on. All right. Okay. This was really fun, though. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. That was a fantastic game. I was a big fan. Um, I will probably play that again, depending on uh, whether someone wants to... I... If someone wants to see it again, I will play it. If there are different endings, for sure. But I'm sure there are. I think I did something wrong along the way. And that's just the price I paid. Been really fun, though. Um. So you said Pokemon. Um. We also have. Yeah, we have. We can go here. Apparent again. We have Pokemon. There are a couple things I could do. So you voted Pokemon. Uh, does the other person want to? Does the other person who's here want to vote, or you just want to go along? This was really fun though. I would kind of want to keep playing again, but at the same time, I feel like I should move on. It might get a bit repetitive. Could try on a harder difficulty, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. There's one of you left. There's only one. Okay. Um. Well, I'll try again. I will try something else. Welcome back to Hair Apparent. <laughs> so this is the same. What happened if I made different friends this time? And I didn't conspire against anyone. Welcome. Which is not possible, actually, because you'd have to vote, and I'd probably get voted out. But maybe I gained favor. Well met, Prince Roland. We shall speak again soon. You know what? I think I should save this for another day. Actually. Okay. Um. Really fun game, though. This will be up on YouTube uh, right now, actually. Yeah. Do you want me to keep going with the stream, or should I restart it? I mean, it's easier for me to upload VODs if I just end them here, so I guess I will. Really fun. Um, I'll be back with Pokemon Surgeons in a, in a, like a minute or so.